Now, I usually don't post two videos a day, but this happened kind of a few hours ago now, um, and it's a big deal. Well, it's not a huge deal, but oh, it's good to be bad it's, this game. it could be a big deal. Um, apparently, and I have yeah, exactly, the, yeah. all the evidence in the description, uh, it comes from Twitter. Um, if you remember way back before Village released, there was a huge leak at Capcom that uh, detailed a bunch of things about their upcoming titles. Um, Mainly, uh, Village, and it kind of, it, there was a lot of information about what happened in Village, and there was someone on Twitter who reported that stuff to everyone. And a lot of what he said uh, was right, he was right about uh, playing as Chris later on in the game, which does happen. He was right about the massive dragon boss, which ends up being uh, Dimitrescu in the main game. And a few other details about the game, you know, it was all correct, um, mostly correct, at least. Um, a couple of other things that got leaked um, back at that kind of Capcom breach was the RE4 remake, that you know, it's being done, as well as uh, Resident Evil Outrage, which is supposed to be uh, Revelations game, uh, which is a timed exclusive for the Switch, which is supposed to be, com well, it was supposed to come out at the end of last year, but I'd imagine due to that, or due to COVID that it's probably been delayed and hasn't been announced yet. Um, so this guy kind of has a history for being right about things. Anyway, so a few hours ago, I saw a thing on Twitter where this guy was asked if he has, you know, any information about uh, the DLC for Village, because we know the DLC for Village is coming, we just don't know when or what it is. Um, and he did say, yes, he does, but it's very... It's not a lot. Uh, it's, true. it's open Keep to interpretation. Um, so and basically what he said was a lot of stuff was cut from body, Resident Evil Village through development. Um, I've done a video about basically everything that was cut um, um, a while ago now. But apparently, <laughs> apparently, the DLC is going to be some of that cut content. Um, some of the big ones I can kind of think of is there was a lot more going on with the villagers in the village. Um, even from real trailers, you can see scenes with the villagers that just aren't in the game. They all kind of get killed off very quickly early on. Um, another big one, a huge one, is um, Ada Wong was supposed to be in this game, but they cut her out due to conflicting scenarios, it says in the uh, concept art. And people... When people saw that concept, oh, they were like, okay, can we have that back? Um, so there is potential that they're going to, because the character model looked kind of ready to go. Uh, the art was basically done, and it looked really, it should look really cool. Um, there's potential that they bring it back and adjust what they were going to do with her, because obviously the concept art says that she was going to save Ethan from his first meeting with the Lords, like when they capture him at the very beginning. But they could it out. So that would be huge if uh, that gets put in the game. A couple of other things of interest are there was a lot of kind of redesigning and kind of changing backstory of two yeah, lords yeah, Aura, specifically, yeah. mainly Heisenberg and Donna. Uh, Donna's yeah, house was meant to be the, uh, uh, more ghosts and stuff like that rather than dolls. Um, it was going to be like a whole family in there basically and her, but they cut that out. You know, some of the backstory there is quite tragic. It's quite like a sad part of the game anyway, but it's, it's a lot more tragic if you've read the concepts. Um, and that could potentially be put back in and reintroduced, have a bit more backstory on her. As well as Heisenberg, he was meant to be a twin, and his father would have been in charge of the village, and his mother would have been trapped into like this machine on a bed, and the head was like huge. You've probably seen the concept arts, so I'm trying to <laughs> describe them as best I can. Um, and one thing that's also more interesting in terms of things that were changed yeah, is in the Chris yeah, portion of the game, you can use the, instead of just playing as him and going through the village, you would kind of bounce between like each that. of the members of his squad. The window, and dodge, they all have different that weapons that and Even different uh, things they can do. One of them was a sniper, one of them had a machine gun, like an like LMG. And that could have added a lot more depth to that area and made it a bit longer as well. So yeah, there is there is a lot of kind of avenues they could take it down. Um, and he went on to say, you know, it could be done in many ways. It could be done in, in um, having an alternate... Again, this is all kind of interpretation. It could be an alternate 
campaign or brief campaign for what Ada was doing at that time. Kind of like uh, separate ways from RE4 where you see what she was doing well, while that, Leon uh, was so there. Uh, so kind of the same thing. Another thing was, I've mentioned this briefly in my videos, is kind of a band footage uh, type of DLC introduction. Um, basically how Seven did it, where it was like, each DLC was kind of like an episode, and they're all separate. And they could follow different arcs, whether it's the villagers or some of the lords, they could do them separately in like packages, like separate DLC packs. Um, or it could be, and this is the one that a lot of people are kind of maiming at the minute from what you said is they could do a director's cut DLC version of this game which if you've been paying attention to kind of leaks and rumours and whatever there's more evidence well it's not anymore it's been debunked now but like people want to see director's cuts of the remakes more specifically three that was a huge thing a few months ago um, my channel blew up because of that at the time, and people want to see that. So <laughs> if that didn't happen and 8 got it first, people would be kind of laughing about it, I think. But at the end of the day, there's not a lot of information out there that's solid. He just knows that it's coming. He doesn't know what it is exactly, or what it could be, but it, it does seem to be more along the avenue of things that were going to be in the game but weren't are coming as DLC, which, again, a lot of people do want to see. Like, there's so much that we know of on village that wasn't in the game that could have been that interests people you know more backstory of the four it's lords like seeing more of the village before it went it's like to hell basically and you know there's definitely different directions i can go for with this but again this is all very there pinch of salt you have to really kind of take it with a bit of doubt but the guy that's saying this was very much right about village when it came out like he was spawn with some of the stuff they said game. so it might not just be nothing so i'm just throwing this out there because it's new that came up today and as always you know when there's news i try and kind of report it i guess early and as soon as possible but uh yeah let me know what you think of that obviously it's an interesting way to take the drc and i'm sure it's more of a it's more of an audience pleasing uh road road to take because people want to see stuff that could have happened and they might be getting that, so do let me know what you think about it. But until then, they'll probably slow down with the DLC videos now. I don't think there'll be anything now until they actually announce it. So until then, that's basically the DLC covered. Unless there's another leak, we'll have to see. But yeah, thank you for coming by. Short video, I just wanted to kind of throw it all out. But yeah, I'll catch you all tonight for the actual video of the day.